We're here in Clarenville Middle School today. Uh, we're celebrating our grand opening in Clarenville. Uh, we started here in October of this year, and it's the first time we've expanded to a school outside the Avalon Peninsula. I think we have somewhere around 200 registered out of a population of 320, so uh, that's really good. I was really impressed with that alone. Um, and I, I worried about the online ordering process. I thought that was going to be a real hindrance for our population, especially that uh, in advance uh, requirement. It seems to be flowing very smoothly. Uh, there are kids who come to school and they need that extra little bit of help in terms of nutritious food, access to nutritious food so that they can have a really strong learning environment. So having something like the lunch program starting here in the middle school is extremely important to all the kids and, and the families that are in this district. It's good for the area, for the kids to go out and get a good nutritious meal. They may not get it at home. They, there may not be oranges and, and apples and grapes and, and that sort of thing in people's homes and it's a good thing here. There's always some type of fruit or vegetable with whatever we have and it normally um, provides most of the food groups. You get to pick what you want on certain days and like you don't have to bring in money like when you want it. You can just like pick it and then just put it in an envelope or do it online. I am sure that working with the administration of the school that will be a wonderful addition and in the education process that our kids are going to have a very nutritional and healthy uh, healthy meal. I like it because I feel that like everyone should be able to have a lunch that they don't have to pack for themselves. Expansion is our number one priority to do it sustainably, uh, but to hit the students in the Newfoundland that have a need for this program, which is everywhere. I would honestly uh, be a spokesperson for this program and I would gladly go visit schools and tell them how it works. The meal choices are, uh, you, you can't compare, I've not seen anything in any school that compares to what the students are getting offered for the price that they're paying. Uh, and I can't imagine that another school wouldn't want this in their building.